So hello, hello, hello guys, how are you doing? This is Samozel the Grey aka the village boy himself. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, just consider subscribing. If you've been coming back to watch my videos, congratulations, welcome. Subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment in the comment section below. Let's help each other and if we do that, everything will be good. So today, as you can see in the background, there is young boys here playing football so what are some of the characteristics of this kind of games in the village <laughs> just tell me in your village what are some of the characteristics of this kind of game this is football played with young uh, played by young boys here in, in the village kenya africa and i know some of these things are the same to your village tell me some of the characteristics of these kind of games uh, to me, I can say the ball is usually owned by one person and that person has all the rules. He can take the ball in time and can leave. Uh, he can leave the ground and you can't do anything. <laughs> Imagine, guys. And uh, that is uh, characteristics number one. And uh, number two, <laughs> you have to be humble to the owner of the ball. <laughs> A uh, failure to that, he can take the ball and just leave the ground, and that is the end of the game. Uh, so tell me in the comment section below what your experience with this kind of uh, the game, uh, because I know it's very very common, especially here in Africa. This kind of balls in the villages, footballs in the villages, it's very very common, and there is some common characteristics of this kind of games. Uh, I was number two and number three. <laughs> no referees. <laughs> no referees. So the players are the referees and they determine. And you know what, guys? Most of these uh, young boys, <laughs> most of them, they have escaped their chores at home. Things like fetching water, grazing their livestock. So most of them have escaped those chores, and most of them here are going to be punished by, by their parents because I live by. I can say it's. I have an experience of this kind of things because I've grown up in this village and I know how things are done. Because I'm, I'm also a victim, <laughs> and I, I used to be caned a lot by my dad uh, because of loving football i'm given cows and goats to come and graze uh, but i used to leave the goats go to someone's chamber and destroy vegetable destroy some maize and here playing football the owner of that chamber goes to my dad and report you know what canes canes that is in everyday basis I used to be caned because of the love of football and most of them <laughs> i can't lie it's not a secret most of them have escaped those chores and tonight most of them are going to cry because they are going to be caned that is very very common here in the village tell me your experience guys tell me your experience with these kind of games football in the village i can remember very well they have just bring my memories and i've decided to just capture this video just for you to make you remember or maybe to make you uh, recall your, 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 your young age. What are some of the things, some of the mistakes you used to do when you see these kind of games, especially if you're a, if you're a boy. I used to be trained every day, guys, because of... And I was not notorious. It's only that I didn't knew that I was doing mistakes for the love of football I, I i thought like it's no more so i used to think like my dad is just don't like me <laughs> but now i can see he was just uh, he wanted best the best of me uh, he wanted to bring out the best of me but i didn't know as a young boy so i think it's definitely with them 
but i'm enjoying i'm having adventure i can re i'm having like uh my memories and i can see they're doing well Come on, come on, come on. 